hello pray and share warriors how are y'all doing i am doing great i can't believe it's already thursday but it is and uh sorry i wasn't here last night i wasn't here on tuesday night because i had some training for unbound north texas that i volunteered for and I'll be sharing some about that tonight. I can't go into great detail, but I'm really enjoying it at times. I feel a little overwhelmed about all the things that I need to know to go out there and educate people. But it's okay. God has opened this door and I committed to walk through. So just may have to do some studying. Um, and that's okay too. I hope you had an awesome day and what I want to do tonight is talk to you about trust God with all and that means everything we have to trust God with everything we have just holding nothing back trusting him with our lives trusting him with our families' lives trusting him with our friends trusting him with new things that he wants us to do Trusting him it was a big trust for me to go to Fort Worth and back on Saturday, but that was amazing And I shared a lot about that on Monday, but that was an amazing experience and um, We just have to trust him we just have to trust him. I know things look very bleak and very uncertain right now um, in many areas. I mean, look at what's going on in Israel. There's unrest in some states. I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to strike on my videos. Um, you know, this is not the same country that we had in 2019. There is not the freedom of speech that we had on our platforms that we used to have and uh, they are violating our rights. Our rights are being violated. And uh, in a normal year, that wouldn't be done. But anyway, let's go ahead and pray. I'm listening to I Can Only Imagine. I'm listening to some music tonight. All right, let's go ahead and pray. God, we just thank you. We thank you, God, because we can trust you with all that we have, God. Everything that we have, everything that we see, everything that we own is temporary anyway, God. And the reward that you have for us is so much better than what we have now. God, we just uh, praise you and thank you because you are on your throne and you are in control, God. And you will always be in control everything will be done according to your perfect will in your perfect timing God God you are our creator our sustainer our protector our provider you are our shelter in the storm you are our strength you are our refuge God because of you we can be strong and courageous in the face of adversity God, we just thank you because you are the righteous judge that can't be bought. You can't be compromised and you can't be threatened, God. And you will judge all unrighteousness, God, according to your will and your plans and purposes. God, we just thank you because you are loving and kind and compassionate and caring and faithful, God. We can trust you. You are trustworthy, God. God, you keep all of your promises, and every one of your prophecies will be fulfilled. We love you, God, with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And we just want to pray for the lost, God. We just want to cry out for the lost, that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus. God, that you would... Um, soften their hearts God we pray for the prodigals to come home we just pray God that they would repent and they would return to you God we also pray for Israel and Palestine God we just pray for Palestine 
We just pray, God, for both of these places, for the people, God. We just pray for protection. We just pray that you would meet the needs of the injured, God, and that you would comfort the families that have lost loved ones, God. So much in war is so senseless, God. But God, we know that you are on your throne. And we just pray that you would be with them, that you would be with all people that are in disasters, floods, volcanoes, earthquakes, all the many things that are happening uh, outside of this war in the Middle East, God. We just pray that you would be with them, that you would meet their needs, God, that you would, through people, they would see the hands and feet of Jesus. And God, we pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength, God, that they would feel your presence in the absence of their loved one. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. Well, hey, my friend Josie. How are you? Okay, well, let's talk about trusting God with all. With all that we have. And uh, I think I'm going to read Psalms 112.7. Let's see what's in Psalms 112.7. It's so funny because in my notes this morning... I go, I just want to read Psalms, and uh, that seems to be where God's led me, because when I am concerned about things, and when I don't understand what's going on, I turn to Psalms a lot, because it is praise for God, and it just very clearly shows Okay, let's just read all of 112. It is not very long. Um, Praise ye the Lord, blessed is the man that feareth the Lord, that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon the earth, the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Unto the upright there ariseth light into the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man showeth favor and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established, he shall not be afraid, until he see his desire upon his enemies. He hath dispersed, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness endureth forever. His horn shall be exalted with honor, the wicked shall see it and be grieved, he shall gnash with his teeth, melt and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. So we need to fear the Lord, not in a scary, ooh, I'm afraid of the Lord, but in a reverent realizing who he is, that he is the creator of all things and everyone, and that he is sovereign over everything. So that's the reverence, the fear that we need to have for God. And uh, if we do that, if we follow God's ways, he says, wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. So, um, in all things, in all that we have, oh, okay, sure, I'll pray for Mr. Mike. Sure, I'm sorry you're tired. Uh, I went to, I wore myself out yesterday. I had a a lazy day today, but I did some training tonight for Unbound North Texas. So, 
Okay, I will pray for Mr. Mike when I when I pray in a minute, okay? Okay, so um So we need to trust in God with all that we have and not be afraid. Fear the Lord but in a reverent way. And um We need to walk in righteousness, too. Okay, so let's read Psalms 118. It's a little bit longer, 1 through 29. That seems to be all of it. Okay, 118, 29. That's what I, I was listening to morning by morning, and it says... I will trust in you. That's good timing, or perfect timing. Okay, so Psalm 118 says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endureth forever. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations comp com compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compassed me about, oh, I'm listening to a commercial of what we went and did last week, which was so awesome. Okay, I thought that didn't sound like music. Okay, they compass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Thou hast thrust sore at me that I might fall. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacle of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord doeth valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. The Lord hath chastened me sore, but he hath not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them, and I will praise the Lord. This gate of the Lord, into which the righteousness shall enter. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. The stone which the builders... Oh, I'm sorry, my eye itched. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, send now pos prosperity. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the, of the Lord. God is the Lord which hath showed us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords, even unto the horns of the altar. Thou art my God, and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, and his mercy endureth forever. So that is just so good that if we trust, we need to put our trust in the Lord and not man, and not princes, and not leadership. You know, our government leadership, we need to not put our trust in them. We need to trust God to meet our needs. He is our provider. He is our protector. He is our sustainer. He has sustained this earth 
for I don't know how many years, but he has sustained it and he will continue sustaining it because he created it. So we need not put our trust in man or princes or rulers or leaders, only in God Almighty because he created us. He created us for his plan and purpose. And he created us for good things. If we walk in righteousness, then he will use us to further his kingdom. Okay. Well, oh, wait. I might have one more. Oh, I do. I have Proverbs. I forgot. I forgot I have more. I don't have a lot tonight, but I do have more. Proverbs 3, 5, 5 through 6. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes, fear the Lord, and depart from evil. So that is so good. We need to trust in the Lord with our whole heart, with all of our heart, and lean not on our own understanding. That is, that's a good one. I'm glad I got that one read. Okay, now let's move on to Isaiah. 12.2 and see what it says. Okay, behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. He also is become my salvation. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water out of the wells of salvation. And in that day shall ye say, Praise the Lord, call upon his name, declare his doings among the people, make mention that his name is exalted, sing unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known in all the earth. Cry out and shout, thou inhabitant of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel in the midst of thee. So that was very powerful. I will trust and not be afraid. So we need to trust God and not be afraid. We are living in such <laughs> bizarre... Sometimes I feel like we live in bizarro world because you can't even make stuff up anymore. You just can't. It's just like so strange, like this disease that we've been through. Wear a mask. Wear two masks. Wear three masks. So the masks don't do any good. Go get a vaccine. Go, you know, it's like it's different. It's always shifting. The stories are always shifting. So it's not constant. Like the truth is constant. So it's not constant. It's not constantly the same. The truth never changes. The truth is always the same. So if somebody's telling you something and it keeps changing, then it's probably not true. Because the truth is the truth and it doesn't change. So we don't need to trust in leaders. We don't need to trust in um, men. Or mankind we need to trust God only and we need to have all of our trust in him we need to trust him with everything that we have all that we have okay so really the song that I shared today doesn't have much to do with what I wrote tonight except for like maybe one line but I saw this song and I thought me and I like this song and I wanted to listen to it. It's called Christ is called Exalted Overall. And it's about Jesus. And I said, I have not heard this song in message in a while. I love the lyrics of this song by Vertical Worship. 
Christ exalted over all. One name is higher, one name is stronger than any grave, than any throne. Christ exalted over all. So, you know, Christ is exalted over all, over any throne, any kingdom, any, any grave. You know, he defeated the grave. He is exalted over all. So, what beautiful, true lyrics. God sent Jesus to be a sacrifice to all. He wants none to perish. We can trust God with all that we have. We ha he has a plan and purpose for all that he created. It is our choice whether we accept Jesus through salvation and follow him. The only one exalted over all. Christ exalted over all. Jesus is the only path to heaven and forgiveness of sin. Time is short. The time is now to turn back to the one true God. God wants none to perish. John 3, 16 through 21. Call upon the name of Jesus and be saved now. So I hurriedly shared that this afternoon. I had to be on a, on a Zoom call at 5. And uh, I didn't want to be late because I didn't want to miss anything. So I don't know how I want to do the salvation thing tonight. Oh, I think I want to use the bracelet if I can find it. I couldn't find it the other day. Oh, here it is. It was on the floor. I really like the E3 bracelet, the e, E3 band. I like that. And since I found this in my ministry stuff, I like it to... So let's do, um, I need to answer my daughter. I got to go help her tomorrow. Hmm. I don't know where that went. Okay, I'll answer her in a minute. Okay. So let's do this. Let's do the salvation message. And so gold, gold. First of all, for I am not ashamed of the gospel because it is God's power for salvation to everyone who believes. So the gold color represents God, the creator of all who lives in heaven. You know, that's who we talked about tonight, who we trust. We trust God. He created all and he lives in heaven. The Bible says that God is light and in him there is no darkness. God is perfect. <clears throat> I'm sorry. My throat is really dry. <clears throat> God loves you. And he wants to have a personal relationship with you. Jesus is God's son. The Bible says that Jesus and God are one. So the dark color... The dark color with the question mark represents sin, which is doing wrong things. God says that all have sinned and fall short of God's standard of perfection. Sin separates us from God. The Bible says that the penalty for our sin is death or separation from God forever. So the first question mark is asking, how can your sins be removed so that you can know God. Well, let's move to the red one. The red color represents Jesus' blood. Jesus lived a perfect and sinless life, but he died on a cross to pay the penalty for all of our sin. Again, the payment for sin is death. So Jesus paid the penalty for each of us. Why? The Bible says, For God so loved the world that he sent his Son, his one and only Son, that whoever, whosoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life with God. The good news is that you don't have to be separated from God forever by sin. So we don't have to be separated from God. We need to choose Jesus. 
The white color represents each of us after our sins are washed away by Jesus. How can Jesus wash our sins away? When we believe in Jesus by following him, our sins are forgiven. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. So this question mark is asking, have you accepted Jesus' gift of forgiveness by believing in him? And if not, then let's say this prayer. And you can repeat after me if you would like. God, thank you for loving me. I confess that I have sinned against you. I believe that your son Jesus died on a cross to pay for my sins and that you raised Jesus from the dead. I now put my faith only in Jesus to forgive me and save me from my sins. I confess that Jesus is Lord. Thank you for your gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. So now we move to the green color. The green color represents growth in your relationship with God. These symbols show areas of growth. So then we have these symbols on this bracelet. We've got the heart, which is the greatest commandment, is that we love the Lord our God with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength, and that we love our neighbors as ourselves. Love God, love people. And then this Bible symbol. Read the Bible each day to learn more about God and his love. And then we have the little praying man. Pray to God constantly and share your thoughts and needs and desires with him. And then we have the, the water droplet. When we are baptized, we are telling the world that we have committed our lives to Jesus and that we are a new person, like being born all over again. And so then you have the handshake. Hang out with other Christians and encourage each other. Church is a good place to start. It really is a good place to start. Share the good news that Jesus can forgive sins when you trust in him. Tell as many people as you can. So if you accepted Jesus as your Savior tonight by saying that prayer and believing on him, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. Your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life, and the angels are rejoicing. You are now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his son. And so whenever the rapture happens, you will be going. So I'm going to read my, read my notes from today. Uh, not, not the notes where I took for tonight. See the word trust on there? I was already thinking about trust this morning. I know my handwriting is horrible. I think I'm going to do the Bible study, the beautiful inside and out. I think I'm going to do it this summer. Unless I am just too busy with this volunteer thing that I've volunteered to do. I just don't know how time-consuming it's going to be. Um, getting trained is pretty time-consuming. I thought I knew a lot about the subject, but I'm learning more and more all the time. 
Okay, so good morning, God. Good morning, child. <clears throat> I brought you a new day of mercies and blessings, new opportunities to share my truths and the gospel of Jesus, a new beautiful day, child, to get things done and learn more about your new assignment also. Get your information organized today, child. So I did that. I made me a little notebook with all my information in it. Um, thank you, God, for another day of mercies and blessings, of new opportunities to share your truths in the gospel of Jesus. Thank you for a day to get things done and to get organized for tonight. Help me to find a way to, uh, hmm, share today. I don't know. Help me to establish a daily routine with Seth and stick to it also. And so I worked on that too. On Monday, I decided to do a teacher's work day. And so I watched some people that have uh, autistic and Down syndrome children and the ways that they um, facilitate independence. That, that they teach independence. So I learned a lot. And so I made Seth some picture things that have step-by-step -step what to do. And so that that's what we're going to work on this summer. So I don't want to get too bombarded with things this summer, but I really would like to do that Bible study. Uh, maybe even at a different time. Maybe not at night. Maybe during the day. But... I feel bad because I never did do that, um, but it just didn't work out for some reason. Okay, so where was I in my notes? Okay, so he already helped me with that. He already helped me to, you know, he gave me a lot of ideas and helped me to find the pictures that I needed and everything, so... It's kind of a done deal unless I think of something else that I need to do a little picture thing with. Um, I said, thank you for that idea. I went to work. I want to work all summer on independence and speech in a casual setting, like not at a desk like we do school now, just kind of casually. And he said, child, you can accomplish whatever you want to work at this summer with your son, but work on getting him away from the TV also. And that's one of my goals, too, is to find other things that Seth will do besides just watching TV. So that's another goal for this summer. Um, child, also much and more is going on all over the world. Wow. Your government is clearly working against the people, but I am rising up an army of people that will not be stopped. They stand for freedom and truth, my truths, and they will stand for what is right. I am on their side. Evil will never win. They will never defeat me and my children or my son. Their failures will be great. They have declared, declared war on me and my children, and I am fighting them. The spiritual battles have turned into a physical battle, child. So much is transpiring that is under my control according to my perfect plans and purposes, in my perfect timing according to my perfect will. Child, trust me fully. You hear the planes that is protection we have a lot of planes that have been going over Glen Rose lately and I think it's protection I think our plants being protected and I said I trust you fully God but I do not trust our leadership or the people really in charge they serve evil in their words do not match their actions just like some leaders before God, all that is taking place, I see in your word unfolding before our eyes. 
God, help me to encourage others to trust you in this uncertain time. Help me to fully rely on you. Thank you for helping me get all things done yesterday that I needed to get done. Thank you for ordering my steps. Please order them today also. Thank you for meeting me today, God, to encourage me. I love you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and strength. Give my mama and daddy a hug, God. I love you too, my child. Now go be obedient to what I ask you to do and follow close to Jesus. The reunion is soon, child, so be ready. It will be so beautiful too, child. Trust only Jesus to bring you home. And I said, Maranatha, God. And I'm ready for Jesus to take us all home. <laughs> but I know that there's still a lot to do. And there's still a lot of people out there that do not know Jesus. And I believe that's why God is so long-suffering right now. Because the level of evil is very, very high. It is things that we don't even know that are going on. God is aware of them going on. So we just have to trust Him. We just have to trust Him with everything that we have. Every day we get up, we trust Him. We follow Jesus as close as we possibly can. We share God's truth. We share uh, the gospel of Jesus. Just pray for God to open people's eyes and ears to the truth. To open their hearts. Those are the things that we are to do until Jesus comes. We're all on assignment. We're all on assignment. It doesn't matter how old you are. We're still running this Christianity journey race. And it is not a sprint. It is a cross country, over the hills, down the hills, in the valleys, over the rocks. But we have Jesus leading the way. And so we will arrive on time, unscathed, if we just follow close to Jesus. Okay, so I'm listening to this song, Talking to Jesus. It's such a good song. All right, let me give you God's blessing, and we're going to pray. Now, I already fed Seth. I fed him before I started. I may start doing this at 730 because sometimes I'm in a time crunch trying to do it at 7. Seems like it gave me more time, even though I had training from 5 to 6.30. We got through a little bit early. Okay. So, I said that I was going to talk to y'all about what I'm doing. Okay, so March the 27th, I went to a human trafficking fundraiser. And so these were our speakers, Unbound North Texas. They were our speakers. And so that's who we were raising money for, too, is North, uh, Unbound North Texas. And so throughout the, the talk, the lady said that you can volunteer. So I've been aware of human trafficking for years many years and every year I learn more and more about it but it is so easily done and it is so prevalently done that our students need to know more about it and our parents need to know more about it so that is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna be sharing information I'm gonna be doing what the lady was doing that I went and listened to I'm gonna be doing that and possibly going into schools and doing that also. But I'm learning so much and this is such a great organization. Everybody that I have met on Zoom that has to do with this organization, they are so good and they are so dedicated to what they do and what, what they wanna do, let's see if I can find what they wanna do.
Let's see. I was just looking for an overall. What they do is they empower people to get out of this trafficking situation that many people find themselves in. And a lot of times it is no fault of their own. All human trafficked people are not kidnapped victims. A lot of times it goes on under parents' noses. It goes on over the computer or the phone. There are so many ways for children and young adults and even older adults to be trafficked. And there's also, there's labor human trafficking too. Like many people are trafficked. Okay, this is what it says. Human trafficking happens in our community and our students are at risk. Unbound is working to protect youth by giving them, their educators, and their caregivers the information needed to stay safe from human trafficking. So there are, there are a lot of things to be said about human trafficking. And so this is kind of a prevention. This, they want to prevent. They also help people to get out of human trafficking. They rehabilitate people too. They give people the rehabilitation that they need. And so I'm really, I'm excited that there is a place close enough that I can tap into this because I looked at a place in Utah, but that's just too far away. Um, so, Texas, sadly, though, is one of the, um, we have in Texas, we have 313,000 human trafficking victims. 79,000 of those are minor and youth sex trafficking victims. That is just way too much. And that is just Texas. That's just Texas. We have this in every state. Sadly, sadly we do, and the lockdowns did not help. That made the numbers go up because kids were at home, traffickers were at home. Okay, so that's all I want to say about that, I think. Um, maybe that good gave you a good overview. I know I have talked about human trafficking on here before. Like I said, I've I've, uh, I used to talk to, a, I used to listen to a guy on um, a podcast that would talk about it, and then uh, through Women of Faith, one of the ladies that was the speakers, she had an organization um, going to Ignite every year. They have Seeds of Hope there that makes bracelets, and they raise money for human trafficking. Um, Answer International in Burleson does that, and they go and res they go to other countries and rescue people out of human trafficking. Um, anyway, I became aware of it many years ago, and I have been praying for it to end for many years. Uh, sometimes going to bed mad, sad, and just feeling pretty helpless because of some of the stories that I would hear about innocent children. And um, so anyway, I feel like God has opened a door to where I can put my feet to my prayers and I can use uh, the love and compassion of Jesus to share truth with people, like the, the sad truth that parents don't even think about. And it's not just girls, it's boys too that are vulnerable. So anyway, okay, I want to give you a blessing from God. I felt led by the Holy Spirit though to share 
what I'm doing and, and who who I've volunteered with. And uh, I may share more from time to time. Some of what I learned, though, um, it's just really for training purposes to share with organizations and to share in assemblies. Okay. All right, so this is the blessing from God in Numbers 6, 24 through 26. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. The Lord and be gracious unto thee. Uh, the Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. I'm trying to memorize that. Hopefully, I'll get it memorized someday. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pray. Like I said, I've already fed Seth, so I don't have to go and do that. It's kind of nice. I do need to go and do some dishes. Ricky hasn't come home yet. So I'm the only parent here to do the parenting. So let's just do a quick prayer and... Um, I may not be here tomorrow night. I got to go and help my daughter. She's doing her recital here in Glen Rose, so I'm going to help her with tickets um, and greet her people that come in. So, I may or may not be here. I'm not sure. I don't know how long recital's going to last. I mean, not recital, rehearsal. Rehearsal for recital. So the recital is Saturday, and I don't know if I'll be here on Saturday or not. I'll probably be back on Sunday. I'm kind of hit and miss lately, and I hate that, but I may start uh, recording something earlier in the day and just putting it here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Anyway, let's go ahead and pray. God, we just come to you, God, and we just... We love you, God, with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And we just thank you, God, because you are in control. And you are on your throne. You are our everlasting Father. And God, we know that you have a plan and purpose for us to further your kingdom. It's not about us. It's not about what we want. It's not about what we think will make us happy. It is about being of service to your kingdom and God we just uh, we just want to lift up Mr. Mike and his stomach problems that he has had the last three days God we just pray that you would heal his body that you would just uh, help him to feel better that you would help him with the pain and that you would just uh, just uh, make him feel better God just make his stomach feel better and we just uh, pray for the boys God that Mr. Mike takes care of God that you would just be with them that you would draw them to Jesus God if they need salvation that they would just be drawn closer and closer to you every day and God we pray for Josie we just pray as Josie works hard God that you would give her rest that you would keep her safe as she travels back and forth, that you would bless her, God, that you would protect her and provide for her and Austin, her daughter and her daughters and uh, their families, her son and their family and her sisters and brothers and their families, God, that you would give them protection, provision, and uh, blessings, God, that if any of them need salvation, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so that they can be saved, that you would soften their hearts, God. God, we pray for the lost. We just pray that you would open their eyes and their ears to the truth, God, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they can be saved. God, you keep telling me that salvation is most important, God, but that is the most important thing. Yet we are in a massive spiritual battle over souls, over souls that will be one for Jesus and souls that won't be. And God, we just pray that you would soften their hearts, God, 
We pray that you would bring the prodigals back home, that you would draw them home, God, that they would repent, and that they would return to the relationship with you. We pray for all the disasters, all the wars. We pray for Israel. We pray for Palestine. We pray for all the people in these areas that are getting bombarded with rockets daily, thousands of rockets, God. We just pray that you would protect them. We pray for the ones that have been injured, God, that you would heal them. We pray for the families that have lost loved ones, God. We just pray that you would give them peace, comfort, and strength. God, we are seeing your Bible unfold before our eyes, God. We're seeing your word, your word of truth unfold before our eyes, God. We pray for all the people that have lost loved ones. We just pray for peace, comfort, and strength for them, God, and that they would feel your presence in the absence of their loved ones. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. And also, God, we pray for youth camp coming up. We just pray, God, that you would open the youth's hearts and minds to what you want to teach them, that you would give the leaders guidance that they need, and that you would just open our hearts and minds to what you want to teach us also. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Did I miss anything? Miss Josie. Miss Josie, Josie, did I miss anything? All right. Well, pray and share, warriors. I'm tired. My brain, I've been through so much training lately. My brain is just, uh, I don't know, I need to study. I need to study, I need to go through all my material, see what is um, most relevant, and try to come up with a presentation. So I am going to go and just kind of veg the rest of the night. I already have my jammies on and uh, made roast and potatoes and I put some cabbage in there and onions and carrots and I think it was the best roast I've made in a long time but I already ate so I can't eat again so I'll just have to wait until tomorrow and eat some more so all right have an awesome rest of the night and an awesome tomorrow and much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.